Greetings, series. We're here with some more I the Somnium files. I'm having Dot to just kind of look around the place just for a second. Um, in the menu, I kind of just like in between episodes, I checked this out in the file. This was like looking up just to make sure I could like remember people a little bit. See, um, didn't look up Renju yet. Um, profession entertainment company and ma maid cafe manager. Uh, manage it, manage the entertainment office, Lem Lemniscite, uh, and maid cafe call, uh, Sunfish Pocket. He is the ex husband of Shoko Nadami and Mizuki's father. He's been Date's close friend for five years. Interesting. Okay. Um, so I checked out the album. Apparently, after we cleared the Somnium, we got a couple pictures here. Can we, like, zoom in on these? We have Ayaba with the wine. Um, we have Date concept art, seems, and another Date concept art with some spooky. That's for his right eye, which is weird. Um, okay. It's a little interesting. Um, appendix, haven't checked this yet. Uh, dork? A loser geek. Oh, it's just... Okay. It's it's all just a bunch of, like... Okay. Um, I think they're fine there. Persons is fine. Um, flow chart. A story time chart. Jump to another part of the story using the flow chart. Okay. So this is what's interesting. Zero Escape. Um... How the Zero Escape franchise works is like there's a bunch of different endings, so that might be the case for this game too. So that means there is a flow chart, and I want—I don't think we've branched off on anything yet. Um, yeah. Um, so my question is, I don't know how many like endings or anything. Can I like look? Can I? Okay, zoom in. Here we go. Um, yeah. Seems like the flow chart is kind of still linear, but I'm sure it's gonna like go off and off and off, and. If it's anything like Zero Escape, we're probably gonna have to have to see every single ending, um, so that we can unlock the new ones, maybe. I don't know. We'll have to see. Um, maybe it could just be normal, regular endings, but we'll have to see. We can jump around the flowchart. That could be interesting. Um, but for now, I guess what we have to do is go check on the map and go to the diner, apparently? Is that right? Seems like it. We have to go check up on some kid who is, like, somebody who he was like the only one who called the police and was also there he was the one who used the payphone so that's where we're going apparently um the matsushita diner saturday 10 18 a.m all right so where is this kid or at least this 28 year old or whatever who looked like a kid um here's the diner oh, no hello. One's hello i'm sorry we aren't open yet i can tell um oh i'm not a customer yeah i'm here for something else what are we with here? the MPD? Oh, okay then. Flash my badge. Okay. Oh heavens, no! I is my boy? Oh. I is Ota in trouble? Oh, poor lady. Um, Calm down, man. I'm just here to ask some questions. Okay, Date's actually being nice. Um, seems a little. He seems like a bit uh sarcastic kind of guy. She hurried out of the kitchen. Oh boy, she looks worried. And you're Ota's mother or something? His mother. Right. And your name, ma'am? Mayumi Matsushita. Uh-huh. Miss Matsushita, before we talk, could I make a request? Mm hmm Could you put that knife down, please? <laughs> Gosh, I didn't even notice it, like, blended in with her apron. I didn't even notice. What the heck? Jeez. Oh, goodness. Sorry. Sorry. She's the murderer. <laughs> she has a knife. She's the murderer. All right, let's not pin it on her. Jeez. Um, Mayumi put down the knife on the table beside her. Okay. It's a little concerning that it's just there. Kid seat? Kid's chair. Um, menu. There's a menu on the table. Kazuaki's cheek boiled in red wine. Uh huh. Let's hope that's not what it sounds like. Yeah, not like an actual cheek. Geez, chair, round chair. A large jellyfish. No, it's a chair. Sure, it's a large jellyfish in the middle of this restaurant here. <laughs> um, the poster. A beer out on the wall. She's cute. <laughs> Come on, Dante. You have zero standards, Kaname Dante. Geez, calm down, dude. Um, autographs. That is the autograph of Iruka from Dark Zone Kalimas. Oh, cool, I guess. Oh. <laughs> yeah, sure. Who? <Cool. laughs> um, more menus. Um, and he's written down the wall on Tanzaku paper. Not sure what that is. Um, seems like a nice little diner though. It seems very peaceful. Fortune says good luck. Um, is that all? Cushion? Small sitting cushion. This reminds me of the funniest props compilation I saw. I but you need to get off YouTube. You reached pretty far back for that reference. Um. A reference? Okay. Low table? Um, I guess there was a reference there that I didn't understand. Um, calendar? That's just the calendar. Um... <gasps> Thank goodness we have that. Otherwise, I wouldn't know what year it is. What year? Jeez. <laughs> I'm kidding, of course. Uh... Yeah, sure. 
Ah, uh, that sure was funny. Um, oh, it's one of these cat things. Lucky cat. Lucky cat statue. Uh-huh. What the hell? <laughs> Are you unfamiliar with the superstition? What? Imitating a cat's meow to a lucky cat statue grants that person happiness and luck. Meow. Is that right? <laughs> um, beer cases. Beer cases. Beer cases, beer cases, indeed. Um, a TV. Old CRT television. You think that thing gets any channels? Unlikely. <laughs> I do not detect any tuners or antennas. So they just use VHS tapes? Or something? I don't know. It seems like an old-fashioned diner. Okay, hi, Mayumi. Um, about the weather, you know? The rain last night was pretty bad, wasn't it? Oh, if we're talking about the weather, okay. Um, well, I guess weather makes sense. makes sense. I thought it was just like a conversation starter. The rain? Oh, right, yes. All right, you seem a bit absent-minded. Um, uh, tell me about your restaurant. Oh, it's just a little diner. You seem a bit too humble. But not to toot my own horn or anything. We do get quite a lot of customers here. Okay, maybe not that humble, but yeah, you just said not to toot your own horn, sir. I manage it with my husband, but it can get pretty hectic during lunchtime. Uh, I feel like it's the case for many restaurants. Julia. What? This establishment is near the Kabasaki district that's been off limits for eight years. And yet they get tons of people? That could mean. Uh. Never mind. Huh? What do you mean, never mind? Um. Where is your husband? He runs I it with you. Think He's around here somewhere? He went to buy some ingredients. Uh-huh. He comes and goes all the time without telling me. Uh-huh. This is nothing new. Alright then. Um, how long have you been here? Oh, about 30 years now. Wow, that's a long family diner then. We had to borrow a lot of money to get started, but... But now that you have such a good reputation, I'm sure you're well off financially. Back then, everyone was willing to lend you money. Oh, uh, yeah, I guess that's true. Um, uh, about Shoko? I decided to ask about Shoko just in case. Brought the picture of Shoko and showed it to Mayumi. Does this woman look familiar to you? Yeah. No, I don't recognize her. Never ate at your diner or anything? Who is she? Um. No one. Don't worry about it. Okay, then. Um, then how about is Ota here? That boy... He's been hanging out at this office building lately. What is he doing in that AI set? What? Calm down. What the hell is he doing? What kind of office? <laughs> oh, what was it? It's a place where irresponsible young men hang out. Nonconformists and the like. Uh-oh. What, like gangsters? <laughs> oh, heavens no. Nothing like that. Oto wouldn't go to a place like that. He just looks like a nerd. Then... Oh, I remember. It's a production office. An entertainment company. Uh-huh. He says he has gear on his shirt. Um... Uh, what's the name of this company? Um... What was it? I'm sorry. My memory's been so spotty lately. Yeah, I can tell just by the way that you talk. Um... Why does Oda hang out there? Because he's a nerd? <sighs> Because there's a goddess there. A goddess? A what? Ota says it all the time. A goddess. Um, what? More like a witch, if you ask me. Uh, okay. A witch, huh? Yes! A witch put a spell on my poor Ota. Makes him spend all his money on her. What? You see that box over there? Which one? The one on the table? Yeah. Yes. Just look. You'll see what I mean. Um, so this witch is working there? Yes, that good-for-nothing temptress works for that entertainment group. She's an idol. An idol? Okay, I know idols are very popular in Japan. Do you know her name? Uh, I'm assuming it's not witch. <laughs> her name? Um, I don't remember. <laughs> you call her witch, you don't even bother remembering? Jeez. I just call her the witch. I see. All right getting nowhere. Yeah. She doesn't remember the talent or the company. Even I am at a loss. Yeah, this woman yeah. is, uh, she seems like she only, she only focused on one thing, and that's the diner and her son. Um, actually, wait, where's the cardboard box? Um, where is it? Oh, that over there, hold on. Um, can I back up this? I just want to see the cardboard box for a second. Um, come on, pack it. Do you want to see? Preferably. It was delivered a little while ago. Any idea what's inside it? It's bound to be merchandise from that horrible succubus. <laughs> she forces Oda to buy them. I know it. YouTuber merch. Um, 
Can I see? Zoom? Oh, I can just look in it. Um, what's it all? Uh, package. It's a cardboard box. A delivery slip attached to it. Oh, the slip. Okay, um, the slip the is... The sender is Great Grin. Great Grin? A popular online store. The product description reads, Solid Model. Uh, can we see what's in it? How do I, how do I use, like, swoosh? Can I do anything else? Um, really? We should look inside. Yes, please. Use the x-ray mode. How do I do that again? How do I... Oh. Oh, now I can... Oh, R3. I see. Um, here we go. It is a... It's literally just a figurine. Okay, I think if I remember... I saw this go in the trailer. what is this? Is this the witch? A solid PVC model of a person. Known as a figure. Uh-huh. Something's written on the base. The letters appear to be some kind of metal. Can you make the it out? The ability of X-ray vision should make them legible. These X-ray vision is so handy. Jeez. A set. A set. Uh. Whoa. What? What was that? Allow me to investigate. A moment, please. What the heck was that heartbeat? Um. Thought that I was gonna have some like random trigger moment. Uh. All I, okay. Allow you to investigate. Can I not look again? Um. Do I have to look again to see? A set. Um. Can you call him real quick? I don't know. Call him? Yeah. Yes. Does he have a cell phone? A cell phone? Why would he need a cell phone if we have a phone at the house? Oh boy. <laughs> he doesn't have one? He better not. Waste of money. I mean, I don't know. I felt the same way for a while, but I don't know. <laughs> you can abandon this line of questioning, Date. Yeah, I know. Ota does have a phone. I found his number. Oh. Call it. I have already attempted to call multiple times. And he's not picking up. Interesting. There is no connection. So, if he has a cell phone, why wouldn't he just call... So he purposely used a payphone instead of his cell phone. That's interesting. Either the phone is off, or he has no reception. Interesting. Let's hope he's not face down in a gutter somewhere. Oh boy. That would be unsanitary, as well as a violation of waste disposal codes. Don't forget the fact that he could be dead. <laughs> Jeez. About this idol. Uh, she mentioned a box. Yeah, um, I took a look at the box. Can I not do it again? Maybe zoom again? Uh, anything on here? I'm just gonna say something about a solid metal. Um, okay. How about the, uh, the x-ray again? Can I check this out again? A set. What? So what now? Now what do I do? I looked at everything. Um, so, uh, the knife, there's a kitchen knife on the table, something is engraved on the handle. Can I check it out? Yeah, zoom. Um, what's it say there? It says, the kitchen knife with a floral pattern. Uh-huh. There's something written on the handle. Mom, I love you always. Oh, it was given to her by her son. That's nice. Ota gave me that knife for Mother's Day when he was in elementary school. <laughs> he knows how much I love flowery designs. That's I nice. I've used it every single day since he gave it to me. Dang. Oh, it's more than just a kitchen knife. So that means that has like a lot, a, like a lot of sentimental value. Jeez, that's been like almost 20 years. It means the world to me. Probably like 15 or something. Um, interesting. Date. I found some information about the figure. Okay, so the knife is what we need to check out. Aset is the name of a popular female musician. Uh-huh. That sounds like our witch. Is Aset a group name? No, it is a single artist. Okay. An Aset figure, huh? Correct. What's the name of her talent agency? Lemniscate. Lemniscate. Wait, didn't we hear about that earlier? Lemniscate. I feel like- Oh, that's right! Um, doesn't- The freaking guy- Sorry. What? Lemniscate. The freaking, um... Ah, what was his name? The the husband of the 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 victim. He said... There was something about vi uh, Lemniscate in his description. I repeat. Lemniscate. Lemniscate. Renju owns that company. Yeah, that's right. Correct. Uh, excuse me. Does the name Lemniscate ring a bell? Yeah. Oh, yes! That's where Oda goes. Okay, then. Iba, bring the car around. <laughs> At once. Wait, you guys you actually have a car? And Iva can control it? Like an RC car? That seems kind of handy. Okay, let's go to Lemniscate. Um, 
This sure seems interesting. So I wonder, I'm just wondering like if any of the, the flowchart things are gonna come in soon. Cause if I have to like make a decision or something, maybe that's what it's gonna be. I feel like I'm gonna see this car transition a hundred times over and over again. Can't wait. All right, Lemniscate, Saturday, 11.45 a.m. All right, let's check this place out. Is this where Oda anywhere? Date? There he is. That's him. Uh-huh. Correct. Hey, Oda. What's up, dude? Are you Ota Matsushita? Who are you? Um, yeah, flash the badge. Let's go, Date. I'm from the MPD. <laughs> the police? Uh-oh, he looks, uh, looks a little nervous. Oda, don't tell me you did it. Come on, dude. Geek. Look at this freaking laptop, dude. Oh, it's his laptop. Can I reach over and break that thing in half? Jeez. If you can pay for the damages. Yeah, come on. Damn it. <laughs> Jeez, Date, don't be that mean. Um, what the heck? Promotional videos of the agency's talent are the agency talent are playing. Nothing dirty though. This isn't the kind. Uh, this isn't that kind of company. I see. Magazine pack. Lots of magazines in that rack. Let's see. How to take a girl home in just two minutes. Jeez. I think I'll take a look at it. Date, calm down. Please. Funny machine. Uh, full of drinks. Um, so far, so far, a sofa. It's a sofa. Shut up. <laughs> plant. A plant. Date, look. Ants. Ants? Um, wait, really? Look at them go. Yay. You're getting overexcited about these ants. Also, why are they in the plant? And like, what happens if they crawl out and get all over the place? Um, we need to have a discussion about your obsession with insects. Uh, I forget if that actually said in her likes. Speaking of which, um, those likes. I, for, I still haven't looked up what, um, the zero, 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 one, one, yeah, she does, okay, insects, spiders, uh, crustaceans, that's what it was, okay then, um, we also have my Yumi, there we go, part-time worker, um, I use Ozumara, over 30 years old, she's her husband, t uh, took out significant loans to open Matsushita Diner near the Ka uh, Kabasaki District, she's been running the diner ever since, lately her memory has begun to get spotty, I could tell, um, I kind of just dislikes just witches, everything that witch does, jeez. My goodness, um, anything else? In, uh, not only, I don't think the appendix is very important. Okay, let's keep going. Hey, Ota, how you doing, dude? Um, could you look at me? Could you look at me, dude? Jeez, I'm talking no. to you. No! I'm kind of busy right now. Um, <laughs> uh, what you typing, my man? Nothing. <laughs> okay. Could you stop bothering me, please? I'm a police officer. Come on, show a little respect. <laughs> You a fan of A-Set? Maybe that's what get his attention. How did you know that? Um... Because I'm psychic. Oh. Um... <laughs> Excuse me? Jeez, we're both a little... Um... What can you tell me about last night? Last night? Don't play dumb, kid. Oh, Dante going in? Yesterday, 9 p.m. You called the police from a payphone. You told them about screaming you heard coming from Bloom Park. Yeah. I have no idea what you're talking about. Wow, you're a bad liar. All right, Dante, look. We either do this here, or I take you down to the station. Oh? Do you have a warrant? Oof. <laughs> Article 2-3 of the Execution of Law Enforcement Code. Unless initiated by legal process... Dang! No person shall be detained or obligated to answer any questions without explicit consent. Oh my gosh! This is the type of kid I hate the most. Yeah, I knew it. I knew Dante was gonna hate him. Punch <laughs> Punch Date, wait. Causing a disturbance in public will result in disciplinary action. <laughs> Literally just the only- I like how that's the only option. Punch him. Now what should I do? <laughs> I have an idea. Give me a moment. Okay. <laughs> I told you to wait. <laughs> Waiting's just pissing me off more. <laughs> Perhaps your dosage needs to be increased. Dosage? What? Listen to me, Date. <laughs> just gonna go and punch him, kick him. Otis PC is connected to the internet via Wi-Fi. You're gonna hack? And? I was curious, so I hacked into it. Oh, okay. Can we see what he's up to? A chat log? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Uh, hold up. Oh, he's on like a social... Does Tessa refer to Asa? He's on Twitter? Twitter? Oh my gosh, he's on Twitter. What the heck? How many followers? How many followers? <laughs> What's it say? A young, up-and-coming, super genius author, a multiple award winner, Tessa's future husband. Okay, then. Um, got, gained a follower, sent a message. Jeez, look at all the, all these posts. Jeez. That is a popular fan nickname for her. Um, that means Mato has to be Ota. Correct. 
However, it appears that Ota is the one operating the other three accounts as well. Uh, is he responding to himself? What? He's responding to himself? Are you kidding Ultimate me? Protein Fiber, Pongo Ponko, and KG are all Ota's sub accounts. Um. Ota is insulting Aset and defending her all by himself. What a freaking dweeb! What the heck? This is what's known as a straw man sock puppet or false flagging. Oh my gosh. This kid is pathetic. What the heck? I defended you on social media now. Please love me. Hey, kid. <laughs> hey, kid. Oh my gosh. This guy is so dumb. What do you want? I'm going to tell Aset. Oh. Tell her what? That you're sock puppeting for her on two witter. Two witter? <laughs> uh, uh, what are you talking about? <laughs> you should drop the attitude. You shouldn't make those kinds of accusations. Do you want to get sued for defamation? Defamation? What, what career do you have? Optical protein fiber, Pongo Ponko, and KG are all your sub accounts. Dang, dude. Date, he's going to be like, oh, are you really psychic? What? How do you know that? Because he's psychic. I told you, kid. I'm psychic. Oh my gosh. How sly. <laughs> now, I have some questions for you. Oh, <sighs> fine. Here we go. That got him to talk. <laughs> Dang, Date. Um, let's see. Why are you here, first off? I'm waiting for Tessa to come out. Tessa, this is This is an that... office building, not a concert hall. Is that who Aset is? This is the main facility of Lemniscate Entertainment's production branch. Okay. There are multiple studios for recording and broadcasting in this building. Tessa is recording a podcast today. Uh-huh. Um, when did you start with the fake accounts, dude? Not only were you faking the whole thing, you made sure to add her so she'd see it. What? That's so pathetic! If she doesn't see it, she won't know that I'm protecting her. Oh my god! Don't you think all those comments hurt her feelings, even if you defend her? But in the end, I made it so everyone became her fans and got along and... Uh... That's not the point. I don't know. <sighs> I'm sorry. It's a pretty cringe narrative, Just dude. Don't do it again, okay? Yeah, please. Um, about last night. Seems like I'm he's trying to stop working. Again. Yeah, it's like he's not—he's not on his computer anymore. So now he's actually answering the questions. Were you the one who reported the screaming at Bloom Park around nine? Come on, dude. Y yes. There you go. Why were you in the area? And why weren't? Why'd you say no at first? I um. You better tell me, or I'll tell everyone about your little imaginary enemies. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> hey everyone, uh, this guy, this guy. Okay, okay, <gasps> I'll talk. Just shh. his face. My goodness, about last night, huh? I went to Bloom Park because I was supposed to meet someone. Oh? Did you enter the park? Yes. You did. So who were you meeting? A girl named Mizuki Okiyura. Okay then. What did you say? Mizuki Okiyura? She's the daughter of the president of Lemniscate. Do you know her? Oh, I mean, well, yes, but like, this is all kind of coming together. Um, also, she looks way too happy. What the heck? Yeah, I know her. <laughs> Probably more than anyone else would. Um, how do you know Mizuki? He's like, she's just a friend. Like a goddaughter or something, yeah, kind of. better be. <laughs> what? Why do you care? Calm down, Dante. Where and how did you two meet? Um, here, the Lemniscate lobby. Um, Mizuki is friends with Tessa. Oh, okay. I was okay. talking to Tessa one day, and she just comes up like, hey. When was this? Last September. So, I guess the relationship has lasted over a year now. Interesting. Don't call it a relationship. Well, what am I supposed to call it? Uh, a connection of some sort? How do you know Mizuki? Did we just, uh... Anyway, I have her look over my work sometimes. Your work? Work? I write light novels. Oh, I know what those really? are. What's your pen name? Odoin Kyoma. Odoin Kyoma. That is a lie. Database searches reveal no professional authors have ever submitted work under that name. Uh-huh. Hey, Ota. How about you stop lying to me? <laughs> my third eye can see through your bullshit. His third eye. What uh, the heck? Well, I'm not a published author. Ah, so you're a fan fiction I'm writer? I'm an aspiring author, to be exact. 
What the heck? I thought you said in your description you were best selling. <laughs> Lies. So, anyway, Mizuki reads my novels. Ah, oh, okay. I get notes and advice from her. From a sixth grader? <laughs> She's surprisingly insightful. Yeah, aren't you like 20 something? She has the talent to be an editor for sure. Uh huh. As a sixth grader? Um, could you provide a detailed account of last night, please? Around 8:10 last night. I got a call from Mizuki saying she wanted to meet me at Bloom Park. Oh, uh, ugh. She sounded scared. Sounded scared, okay, um... So this was before the scream, though. You know how that area is run down and abandoned? I guess. I think she wanted me to go with her as protection. Why would she call you, of all people? You think she would just call Date? He's a police but officer. why Bloom Park? Someone messaged her on Nile. Nile. Nile is a popular messaging application for smartphones and PCs. Oh, okay. Oh, you know, I think, um, Line? Is that what it is? Line? I'm pretty sure that's a thing in Japan. Or at least some, pl I don't know. I don't have it, but like, whatever. Line is a thing. And I think Nile is just, it scrambled up. Like, Line and Nile have the same letters. Whatever. <laughs> what did they say? She didn't tell me exactly, but it said to come to the merry-go-round at Bloom Park tonight. That was where the murder was. Who sent it? I don't know. But Mizuki was determined to go. Okay, I wonder how she got locked in there, too. Um, can you provide a detailed account of last night? We just asked this, What but... happened next? I met up with Mizuki and we went into the park. Okay, then. Then what happened? Did you find the body that... The body's not there. Um... <laughs> I like how you're just about as... Oh. <sighs> <laughs> oh no, it wasn't. That's her mother. And he just ran away? Um. Interesting. Oh, I didn't even look. I forgot we could do this. Um, 24 years old. Kind of a loser. Yeah. Did you leave her there? Jeez, dude. Did you leave her there? You're supposed to be the protection, quote unquote. <laughs> you left a 12 year old girl by herself? Jeez. I didn't mean to. Look at that face. I was panicking. People do stupid things when they're in fight or flight mode. I mean, okay, I can't blame you. I can't say that I wouldn't have left or stayed. Like when people grab their pillow and run out of their house in a fire. Okay, I haven't heard about that Jeez, one. You're a real hero, kid. <laughs> See, I knew you would make fun of me. <laughs> this is why I didn't want to tell you. I see. Is that why you didn't identify yourself on the phone? Uh-huh. You seriously didn't think we'd find you? Mizuki would have told us everything. Oh, that's right. I didn't think she would. Why not? Why wouldn't she? She said that if she ever got caught going out at night with someone like me. <laughs> wow, dude. Even she sees that you're a loser. I'm sorry, Oda. Like you're, you're a little weird, but you're not. You don't seem like the worst person ever. Her roommate would kill her. Her roommate. Oh, that's that's not taking. Good girl. <laughs> oh my goodness. When did you? Or why did you use a payphone? Was it so they couldn't track you down? I tried using my cell phone at first. Oh. My heart was pounding and I was scared and my hand was shaking. So you could the rain last night. Oh, the touchpad wouldn't it work. Kind of slipped out of my hand. Oh. You dropped it. Yeah. But then right into a puddle. Uh huh. Iba, can you trace the last signal that Oates' phone sent out? Near Bloom Park, just past 9 p.m. Okay then. The phone has not been turned on since. That's right, that's why we couldn't call them. This is telling the truth. I see. That's unfortunate, okay. Um, so maybe he's not the murderer then. Um... Hey, it, it, Yota, he is a coward. what are you doing? Coward, but, um... Tessa. What's up? Oh, is this the witch? Um... Yep. Yep, it's that girl from the trailer. What's up, Tessa? Or a something? And you are? <laughs> Asa, that's right. Mr. Um, Dante from the MPD. That's right. He came here to ask me about what happened last night. Does she know about it? You mean a detective? Yeah? Hey, what's up? Wow! I've never met a real detective before! Uh-huh. He's just like, uh... <laughs> Why, what, what, what's the... <laughs> just five seconds of just looking at his face? Okay, then. Um... What's... 
Doctor, the heartbeat again. Your adrenaline level is rising. Uh, is something the matter? No, nothing. Okay, adrenaline level. Um, what's? Uh, okay, wait. Hold on. Is it all the? Um, let's talk with the new character first. Are you a set? I mean, obviously. Let me confirm yes. something. You're a set, right? Let's play a game. Shadows. Shadows? No, not Raid Shadow Legends. Um, no. Thread? Silhouette? A set. Huh? Bears. What? Uh, upset? Regret? A set. Huh? Water. Wh what? Wet, sweat? A set. I don't. What? <laughs> Yay! A set, you bet. I don't get it. What? What's? What's the? Where, what's the funny? Magnetic currents in the atmosphere are clearly causing aberrant behavior. We should leave at once. Uh, I. Um. What's your relationship to this kid, by the way? Relationship? Like a goddess in a summon thrall. Uh huh. Personal. If Tessa ever gets in trouble, I swoop in and protect her. Yeah, just like you did, Mizuki. <laughs> You sound more like a superhero than a thrall. Sound, maybe not act like, though. Ota always defends me when I'm getting bashed online. <laughs> so she does believe it. Stop, you're making me blush. Ota. This guy. Oh, boy. Um. <laughs> we can tell her? Um, hold on. Your friend's Mizuki? Let's ask about this Mizuki first. Mizuki Okiura? Yeah. yeah, I am. Mr. Okiura runs the agency, and Mizuki is his daughter, so... He... We hang out sometimes. Okay, so are you like friends? Is that how you became friends? There's more to it than that, but basically... Okay then. Um, Mizuki and I live under the same roof, but she doesn't tell me about her per our personal life. She doesn't tell me much of anything, come to think of it. I'm totally in the dark. So, Interesting. Mizuki must come here to hang out sometimes. So maybe they are really just roommates. Um, but then why the heck would she just be st uh, staying with Date and not just her parents? Um, how old are you? Jeez. I turned 18 this year. Uh-huh. Senior in high school? Yep. Date, I recommend you keep your hands to yourself. Oh, Don't worry. I'm not gonna make a move. <laughs> She's... What? Oh, what? I meant Ota. Huh? Wait, what? you were gonna make a move on me? What? <laughs> um, uh... Hold on, before we ask about that, um, about A-Set... Gee, Tessa, you always look so cute. So, so cute! Oh boy, okay, is this how... Does she know that she's, like, kinda... I don't know about manipulating, but, like, uh, the the whole merch thing and the witch thing? I think that maybe that's just her mother's point of view, whatever. So cute that I can't take it! What? What is she doing? She's like... <laughs> don't you um, think so too, Date? You're awfully familiar with her. <laughs> I can't help it. Her loving aura is in the air. AKA she's just sitting there. When I'm with her, I just... My head gets all light, and I just relax and don't sweat the small stuff. You know? I mean, I guess that's love. Um, About Shoko Nadami. The victim. I took out Shoko's photo from my pocket and showed it to Ota. Do you, you know, know this lady? this is, right? Yeah, because you saw the body, right? Yeah, it's the woman I saw at Bloom Park. Her name is Shoko Nadami. Do you know anything about I her? I saw it on the news. Okay, your mother didn't know her, Wait, so... Do you not know who her daughter is? Uh, she has a daughter? Well, uh... Um... I didn't know that either. Well, that is her mother. They must be unaware that Shoko is Mizuki's mother. Maybe that she didn't tell... Jeez, Mizuki just doesn't seem to tell anybody about anything. Maybe because her last name is different. Oh, that's right, that's right. They took on different names because they're divorced. Um, oh, okay, so she... That's right, she took her father's last name. Interesting. It has also not yet been reported that Shoko is Renju's ex-wife. Oh, interesting. Um, did you talk to her about last night? Um, just oh, Shoko's corpse. Um, I heard about it. About Ota seeing that corpse at Bloom Park. He told me. Yeah. Tessa! Why didn't you um, come to the police? Such a shocking story would certainly pique the young woman's interest. Oh my gosh, so he can play hero it's again? possible Ota wanted her attention. Oh my gosh, 
so stupid. You about a dead body he found for attention. <sighs> that sounds familiar. Um. Actually, I already knew about it before Ota told me. Oh, from the news. How? It's all over the internet. Who posted when about it? When I saw it? Ota this morning, I asked him about it. Um, he told me he saw the body. Oh. Ota? Um. Ota's looking a set. Well, not really a look, more like a gawk or an un enraptured gaze. Uh huh. Okay, about the sock puppeting. Are we hey, actually gonna tell her? Let me tell you something. Oh it's boy. It's about those posts on Two Winner. Two Winner? <laughs> oh, ah! <laughs> Wait! Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Looks like you're my thrall now. Oh boy. Isn't that right, Ota? Oh my gosh, Dante, what the heck? Yeah, just be cool. <laughs> Dang, dude. We're leaving? Um, we're leaving? All right, yeah. We're leaving. See ya. Dante, I have determined that these two have no further information for us. Yeah, they didn't seem like they had much anyway. Our goal is to find the murderer of Shoko Nadami. Let us continue. Okay. Right. Let's head back to the crime scene. That sounds like a good idea, now that they've mm -hmm. taken the footprints. Oh. Mm -hmm. What's See up? See you kids later. Yeah. Uh, where are you going? Back to where the corpse was found. Yeah, I gotta go do cool detective In stuff. In that case, I'll go with you. No, why? Yo, what? Please take me with you. No. Why? <laughs> because I want to know more about what happened. Why? You're an idol. Go do singing stuff. <laughs> just Dante's upset. Like, his face is just like... No, he just looks so bored all the time. I love it. It's so funny. Do you have any suspects? Um, Probably some crazy murderer, right? Aset, this is not a game. That's what Ota was telling me. The corpse was strung up on that merry-go-round. Yeah, that's right. She was like tied it up. Must have been some kind of twisted message. Uh huh. What the heck? All right. Oh, I have cool gloves. Cool Ota, blue gloves. Take a video. What? <laughs> Take a view of Just what? Do it. Of what? What's happening here? Mr. Dante! What? What's happening here? Um. Please, Mr. Dante! You can't leave me! What? Fake tears? I, I can't imagine life without you! Is she being. What are you doing? She is a witch. No. Are you serious? Ota, did you get it? What the heck? Oh, uh, yeah. You're gonna use it as leverage? What the heck? She is a witch. Oh my gosh. I should have trusted the old lady. What the heck? You manipulative, manipulative little, ah! Oh my gosh, I do not like her. What the heck? Receptionist, help me out here. What, <laughs> what the heck? Oda. Something wrong? No, not at all. I'm just imagining your body sinking into Tokyo Bay. Oh, cuz... <laughs> okay. I'm used to sinking. Part of the job. Okay, it's sinking, not huh? psyching. Okay, then. What the heck, Aset? What the heck are you doing? Mr. Date, you are a member of the MPD, aren't you? A public servant? I wonder, what would happen if this little video happened to go viral? Oh my gosh, dude. You know, <laughs> I hate that. See, it doesn't matter, because I was about to say, oh, it's kind of like the same thing we're doing to um, Otto, or whatever the frig his name is. But like, he actually was doing bad things. Dante was just trying to leave, what the heck? You wouldn't. Oh, and just so you know, taking my phone away won't help. You got iCloud storage? It's in the cloud. Ugh. You little. Oh my gosh. Why are you doing this, jerk? I told you. I want you to take me to the scene of the crime. Yeah, sure. Why? If you do, I promise I'll delete the video. Yeah, no. I don't I don't trust you. After that's done, I do not trust you. Look at her smirky little face. You think you're so Dante, smart. A thought has occurred to me. What? She really is quite the seductress. Yeah, jeez, what a witch. My goodness. It's a rather inappropriate smile on her face given the circumstances. What the heck? Fine, let's go to Bloom Park. What the heck? Freaking, ugh. That makes me upset. Woohoo, car transition scene. Oh, what? Um, what? 
Am I gonna take my eyes off the road? I love my gloves, dude. My gloves are so cool. All right, um, can I do anything? Can I, can I investigate? The wheel, the center console. It's got AC and radio controls on it. Um, center console, older car, but has a state-of-the-art computer installed in it. Iva can even remotely control it. Um, rear view mirror, uh, let's check it out. The rear view mirror, I can see the scenery. Um, are there any other cars on the road? Um, check out ASAT? Um, do you have any questions for me? Questions. Questions. Yeah, why do you care so much about this murder? Ah, uh, what's it like being a detective? That's it? No much about that. Oh, the detective. Oh, yeah, so, like, I mean, I guess that's true. But you are a cop, right? Kinda? But yeah. I'm not a crime unit. Then oh. what unit are you in? Oh, the spooky secret what one. Indeed. Oh, Dante. You aren't gonna tell me? Please? You better not use that freaking video as extra leverage. Dante? Uh, okay. What are you doing? No. Just thinking about posting that video. What the heck? What? Whoa, this is whoa, so. Hold up now. Freaking. Well then, tell me. You are the worst. I do not like you. Oh my gosh. Um. Why did you become an idol? Let's well, learn a little bit more about you. I guess it was because. Why? I've always wanted to be famous. You know. I want to be famous. Get on TV. Be a household name. Okay. You're not there yet. It's all right. Internet stars do better if they don't sell out. Is that so? Internet star? Ota didn't tell you? What? I'm most famous on the internet. Are you a Twitch streamer? I songs, and dances, and play video games and stuff on stream. You actually are a streamer? What the heck? Ace? <laughs> Twitch.tv slash Ace? Have you heard of Shovel Forge? No. Shovel Forge is a game in which you manipulate cubes on the terrain to build structures. Uh, is that like some bootleg of a different game? I've been focusing a lot on that game lately. Oh wait, is it like Minecraft? What about being on TV? Um... I am not very popular yet. I can only get on TV as a background singer or something. I see. I don't get many gigs either. Well, that sounds a little rough. Um... How'd you start working for Lemniscape? How about this one? Well, at first all I did was stream from home. Also, this is a very long bridge if that's what we're on. Jeez. Um... And then... Not to sound cocky, but I started getting pretty big. Well, good for I you. I started getting offers from agencies. Like Lemniscate. One of them was Lemniscate? Or Lemniscate, not Lumniscate. Well, not exactly. Huh? Don't tell me you... Did you manipulate to get the... My mom's <sighs> actually an old friend of the president of the agency. The president... Okay, so your mom's a friend of Reiji or whatever his name is? Or Renji? Something like that? A friend of Renju's? Renju. <laughs> Renji was closer. Yeah. So I asked him for advice one day. You know, you have to be careful. Hmm? Even a place that looks legitimate with an office and everything can be sketchy. I guess that's true. And my mom and I didn't know anything about the industry at all. But anyway, one day Mr. Okiura said to come see him at his office, and he hooked me up. Well, good for you. Um, about Mizuki. To her friends, right? We're good friends. We go to movies and karaoke and go shopping together. Fun. She's really good at listening to me bitch and moan about my problems. <laughs> I'm so much older than her, but it really doesn't even feel like it. Yeah, I've been hear I've been hearing that she seems very mature for her age. Um, uh, about Ota. Why do you ask? Don't tell me you just manipulate him for like the rest. Of the just like manipulate him all the time. Is that what you really do? The two are very close for an idol and a fan. Oh. Ota is. Special. He really is like a hero to me. Really? A hero, huh? Um, interesting. About that freaking video. Jeez. You know, now that I think about it, wouldn't you get in trouble for that video too? Yeah, actually. What? The video. You're an idol, right? You have a status to maintain. If that video went viral, I think you'd be in trouble too. That's a good point, Date. It's okay. What do you mean, it's uh, okay? It is? Because sometime real soon? What? You're gonna stop being- the music stop? Are you gonna stop being an idol? I'm going to die. What? Uh... This conversation took a turn for a very, very what? weird... You're gonna die? I can Are you see ill? Into the future. 
Huh? I know when I'm going to die. What do you mean? That's kind of weird. <laughs> Just kidding. You know, I thought for a second some crazy new plot twist was coming in, but nope. Because Ace is just lying again. Hope so. <sighs> anyway, I'm not going down without a fight. Oh my gosh, I think she might have just done that to get the conversation up. You are smart. Even if you are very manipulative, you are a very smart. So I will release that video if you don't cooperate. Oh my gosh. What the heck? About my department? Oh boy, we actually Part have to tell her. Part of a special her? investigation unit known as Abyss. We're actually telling her, wow. Holy shit, why did we just lie? We should just lie, what the heck? Choice. Just lie! What's Abyss? Just lie! Advanced Brain Investigation Squad. The public doesn't know about it. Uh-huh. Wow, cool! Wow, cool, yeah, dude! Don't tell anyone. <laughs> She's an idol, of course she's gonna tell people. If it helps her boost her rank. I promise I won't. I don't trust I you. I swear to the Egyptian goddess Isis. I don't care. You can do, you can swear to whatever god you want. I still don't trust you. After that stunt you pulled, ask for her real name. I was like, By Tessa? the way, I didn't catch your name. You really want to know? Not particularly. It's okay if you don't want to tell me. Iris. Iris? Iris Sagan. Thought I was Tessa. I know, weird, right? Um, Iris in the passenger seat, okay. What the heck is this? This again? I, oh, wait, Iris, like, stop. What? Bake me a cake as fast as you can. Hide it, poke it, fill it with fruit. What? Mm -hmm. Something wrong? What was Okay, that was weird. Um, a memory or something? Maybe he, before Dante lost his memory, he used to know Iris? And what's funny, I kind of like how Iris is called Iris because um, that's a part of the eye. That's a part of an eye. That's interesting. Um. I wonder if any other- I forget all the parts of the eye, but I wonder if, like, any other characters, um, ha are, like, similar to the eye. That's interesting. No, there's nothing. Okay. I'm gonna look at all the parts of the eye again, because I'm seeing a lot of stuff to do with eyes. It's very interesting. Okay. Car transition. Well, we've reached Bloom Park. Alright, Saturday, 1.12 p.m. Alright then, let's go check out this corpse. Oh, Excuse boy. me. You Konami Date. Yeah, just ignore this person with right. me, please. Um, yeah, this police here, like, what is this girl doing here? And hey, girl? <laughs> uh, not important. She's an important witness for this case. Ah. Yep, yep. <laughs> Don't make that face. We've got business here. Oh, boy. Oh, uh, okay. Jeez, Date. See, you can lie here, but you can't lie to Iris? What the heck? So stupid. Alright, um... Oh, the, the freaking horses are so weird. All right, um, well, Iris couldn't hold back her excitement and rushed onto the scene. Why? Um, all right, well, let's take a look around again. Um, the roof? The roof of the merry-go-round. There's a hole in it uh, now from all the years of weathering. That's right, this place isn't managed well anymore. Panda ride! Is it still lonely? The type that you put a, a coin in. A black bear? What? I'm not gonna be punished, am I? What do you what mean? What are you talking about? <laughs> Nothing. Just thinking about a game I like. Is that a reference? I feel like there's a reference to something there. Um, policeman. How's the investigation coming? I can barely see. Oh, that's right. I can move around. It's and look. not looking too great. That's not we good. We searched all over here. But we didn't find nothing. Of course not. Is that all? Really? That's it? Um, how about you, policeman? Local cop. Same thing. These Mr. weird horses. Bonte, that horse. Yeah. That was stored in a warehouse nearby. Some kids must have broken in and put it up as a joke. Um, okay. Oh, so it probably has nothing to do with the case. I see. Um, they probably just took it off the mega ground and just put it on it. But they put on, like, everything. Jeez. Um, looks pathetic. Um, like Otto? <laughs> Jeez. Um, any more of them? Um, what's this barrier? What is this? Holographic caution tape. Holographic? Okay, I guess we are in kind of, like, a futurist setting. Um, the column again? Maybe check it out? Last night I found Mizuki inside the central column. Why was she in there? That's a good question. Um, can we check out this policeman? Local cop, same thing. Um, how about Iris? If I can just, geez, it's really hard to just get on there. Um, have you been here before? When I was younger, but not since it closed. Uh-huh. Kagasaki is restricted, right? 
Yeah, it's been like what? A certain amount of years? Like eight no years or something? No supposed to be here. Yeah. This amusement park, Bloom Park, is located at the heart of the Kawasaki District. Right. It was closed eight years ago. Eight years, okay, I was right. The closure was due to an accident at a nearby chemical plant. Oh. The explosion caused massive amounts of chemical pollutants to contaminate the area. That's pretty bad. The government quickly issued evacuation orders. Eventually, the entire district was deemed unsafe for habitation and restricted. Also, wait. Hold on. The black and white... Oh my gosh, she said punished? I'm so stupid. The black and white bear reference? That was Monokuma from Danganronpa. What the heck? That was a Danganronpa reference. Oh, I'm so stupid. All right. Keep going up. My bad. Therefore, I'm sorry. Bloom Park was permanently closed. I don't know why that took me a while to notice. I think it's because she said black and white bear and I was looking at panda. I was like, panda? Like, po the panda? Kung Fu panda? But no, it's, it's Monokuma. But a restricted area doesn't mean much if there aren't enough officers to patrol it. All right. But yeah, um... Monokuma or Danganronpa made by the same developer, Spike Chunsoft. There's still um, plenty of ways in. You can even get in by boat. That's true. Well, some people ignore the evac order and are still living here. That yeah, that's right. The freaking lady. Are they okay? Wait, her memory said it was going spotty. Oh, maybe this is because of older age. How old was she again? I can't I don't remember. Know. But if anything happened to them, it'd be their own fault. I see. Are we safe? <laughs> we are. Yeah. Decontamination for this area is basically done. Ah, Chemical geez. concentration around here isn't high enough to hurt you. You could run a marathon here and be okay. <laughs> but it's still off limits, right? Yeah, just because yes, it's abandoned. Yes, legally. Or... Ah. It keeps the media out, at least. I'm glad. It's quieter than it usually is. As opposed to your past cases. Um, what are you doing over there anyway? He's trying to find some clues. What do you mean? This isn't a game, She's Iris. A natural detective, huh? I don't know about that. Mr. Date. Was the body on top of this horse here? That's correct. Yeah, that's the one. Hmm. Seems like some kind of ritual murder to me. I feel like you might be onto something there. Maybe a religious cult sacrificing her to the devil or something. Okay, maybe not that they far, but. They conducted their ritual here. We did hear something about a cult in the um, the Somnium like earlier. Shadowy hooded figures going around and around. Okay, that's a bit too much, Stabbing Iris. Stabbing her one by one. Uh, That's quite huh. an imagination. But, do you have any proof? I do! Huh? Well, let's hear it. You actually have proof. Um, hold on. Let's see, you're wasting your time, maybe? Hey, Iris, I don't know what you're trying to accomplish here, but you're wasting your time. <laughs> what do you mean? The cops already scoured the place. They didn't find any leads, not a single clue. Yeah, I don't know what she would find as opposed to the actual, you know, professional policeman. If they had, they would have notified Iba. Iba? My partner. Oh, that's right. Your partner? I don't see anybody. <laughs> Watch this. Blonk and just, just tosses out Iba. <laughs> She's right in front of your eyes. Uh-huh. Or is she in front of my eyes? <laughs> yeah, we'll get to that later. Um, Why do you think this was a ritual murder anyway? The horses. Horse? Horse A? It sounds kind of like Horus, right? What do you mean, Horus? What are you talking about? You don't know Horus? No. Horus is the Egyptian god of the sky and sun. Okay. The right eye is the eye of Ra, and that's the sun. The left eye is the eye of Wajet, and that one is the moon. Wajet, didn't we hear that somewhere earlier? It's the same idea behind the eye of Providence. Uh huh. The eye of Providence? The all seeing eye. Ah, the Illuminati. Oh, I see. Just like what's on the back of a $1 bill. Right. Yeah, exactly. The eye of Providence is supposed to be the symbol of Freemasonry and the Illuminati. Starting to see the picture? A little? Um... Not really. <laughs> I mean, I am a little bit. Um, so keep on going? I remember Ota describing the scene. He said there was an ice pick stabbed into the corpse's left eye socket. Oh, yeah. And, oh. So that means, um... Mizuki took out the ice pick from her mother's eye and then hid into the column. Morris? Providence? Left eye? There has to be some kind of meaning to this. I hate that you're like... I feel like you're actually onto something. I hate this, that you actually are. Especially since I don't really like you that Wait, much. What did you just say? What? The ice pick was inside the victim's left eye socket? Yeah. Oh, wait. Ota... Oh, wait, that'd be Ota's testimony. We, have, we actually didn't learn about that. What the heck? Ota told you that? He's sure that's what he saw. Right, that means I was just talking about how that that we that means Mizuki had to have pulled it out. Ugh. Yeah. Why? 
When um, Lee arrived at the scene, the ice pick was not in the victim's eye socket. Right. If Ota's telling the truth... He would have no reason to lie about such a detail. Yeah, not anymore at least. Um... Interesting. So she pulled it out Tensuki. of her mother's... That's... Ugh. That is nasty. Especially like with your own mother. Ugh. Um, is that all? Iris is investigating the horse looking over it curiously. Um, is there anything else to check out? The actual horse maybe? The horse. Yeah, let's take a look at that thing. Um, hey there, horse. Um, Shoko's corpse was tied up here. Hmm, wait a second. Iba, can you show me the earliest recorded images of the scene of the crime? Oh? Um, you can actually do what that? Your intention? Oh, just the picture, okay. Shoko's cause of death was blood loss from multiple stab wounds with the ice pick. Right. Naturally, there should be plenty of blood. I did notice that. Why wasn't there any blood on the horse? I, I thought it just like got soaked up in her clothes or something. Like the rain washed it away. Agreed. But then again, there can't be any rain because they were under the roof. There isn't of the... a single drop on the horse. Interesting. Was she killed elsewhere and then maybe put it was here? like this when we found it. Maybe she was killed somewhere else and then tied up here. Correct. There are no signs of blood being wiped or washed off either. Interesting. That must mean. Um. Okay. What else can we investigate? Zoom again? Anything else? Um, I think it's just the horse. Yeah, anything? Continue? No sign of blood on the horse, that must mean... Interesting. Um, anything to say, Iris? We should go? Oh, come on! Just a little longer. What do you want to find? No. I'm already <laughs> no. in enough trouble bringing a civilian in here. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's right. You promised if we take you here, you gotta delete okay. the video. Delete the video off the cloud and your phone. Come on, I want to see you do it, Iris. Please. What? Hey, did you, you alright? Are you okay? Uh, is it the chemicals? Morning sickness. That's what? it. I'm kidding. Again? It's not like I would know. Is it the chemicals, maybe? Um. Yeah. I'll give you a ride home. Oh yes. boy. Score, jeez, shut up. Just wondering, but how much do you weigh? Uh. Don't you know it's rude to ask a lady that? I was figuring that's what she'd say. Pounds. I see, 105, huh? You can tell just by lifting me. I guess. Yeah, yeah I'm psychic, dude. Um. Your back is so warm, Mr. Date. Uh huh. Okay then. Um. Can you please delete the video? Please? I would very much appreciate it. Car transition scene, woohoo! Oh, in the car again. Um, delete the video. How are you feeling? Okay, I mean, can you delete, can you delete, can you delete the video, please? Uh, horrible. Are you lying? Shame. If she's lying. Oh, you should worry about me more. I don't know. I don't trust Looks you. Looks like I'm you're sorry. feeling better now. I don't know. I still don't trust Maybe her. Maybe I'm just acting. Thank you. Exactly. Yeah, I don't think so. What if I threw up right here? Don't you do it. Not in the car. I would put it right back where it came from. Ooh, Dante. Ew. That makes me actually want to throw up. <laughs> uh, don't you dare puke out the window. Don't do it. Don't you do it. Please don't. Wait. Seriously? <laughs> no. But I am kind of warm. Uh -huh. The current temperature is 70 degrees Fahrenheit. Humidity 60%. Is it just me to get foggy recently? I don't think I'm just saying things. It is unlikely that heat would be a factor. Uh-huh. So... Hey, Date. What? They say when you stick your hand out of a car going 100, you get a rush like you're holding D-cups. Uh... Hey, watch it. You'll get your arm ripped off. <laughs> yeah, but those freaking lampposts? <laughs> Relax, I'm invincible. What do you mean you're invincible? My arm regenerates like an alien's. That's weird. Didn't you tell me that you're gonna die soon? Yeah. Uh. It feels strange. What? Your hand? No, not that. This is all very confusing. I feel like there's something going on with Iris that she hasn't shared with us. Still not a huge fan of her for manipulating us, but I don't know about that. It feels like... 
I've met you before. Aha, uh -huh, that memory that we saw where they were playing friggin' patty cake. Date? Well, that's nice. <laughs> but if you don't get your damn hand back in this car right now. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. Yeah, I imagine you don't actually regenerate. Um, the wind feels nice. Yeah. I'm surprised your hair's not flying like crazy if we're going this fast. Whatever. Alright, car transition scene, the actual transition scene! Woohoo! <laughs> and now at the Sagan residence, Saturday, 3.09 p.m. Wait, where are we? Have we been here before? Sagan residence? You should residence? come in! Oh, your place. No, that's okay. alright. I'm gonna head home. Yeah. Oh, going home already! Yeah, preferably, I don't know. I said my goodbyes, then turned to leave. Delete the video! But out of the corner of my eye... What? Delete the video, please. Who? Her mother, maybe? Wait, was that the girl that we saw that got murdered? Oh, no. Oh, who is this, Iris? Uh... I felt my body freeze, because that woman, she's... the one who died. Right. Oh, boy. I wonder... Did he predict the future by accident? And, um, does that mean Iris can actually predict the future too? This is weird. No, it can't be, it can't be. I felt like my mind and body were being torn in opposite directions. As I stood there stunned, Iris grabbed my hand. What? Come on, I'll make some tea. Um, no thanks, I'm good. Hello? Woman who is supposedly supposed to die in the future, maybe? You're... Nice to meet you. Yeah, likewise. I'm Iris's mother, Hitomi. Yeah. It's Hitomi. And you are? Konami Date from the MPD. Yeah, please don't tell her about, you know, the whole, uh... Police? Yeah. Are you a detective? Sure. No, Mom. Don't you dare. Mr. Date said he's... Don't blab. Iris... <laughs> oh, right. You just forgot. What the heck? It's nothing. Don't worry about it. Yeah. Okay. Thanks. Please delete the video. Please. Uh, after an awkward silence, Iris brought us some tea on a tray. She put everything down on the table and sat down on the sofa. Um. Okay, then. Uh. Well. Wait. This is the same room. She gets killed behind this door. Behind the entrance? Yeah, cause this is where the Somnium was. Yeah, that's the light switch. There's the thing. There's a plant right behind where Iris was. This is weird. Um, and we, that was the rose lamp. Or it doesn't really look like a rose right now. Um, there's that basket there too. I'm where the skeleton was. Interesting, okay, um. Well, I guess I'm gonna call it here. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. Um, this seems kind of interesting. Did we foresee death? Can Iris and Date see the future? I don't know, but we might find out some more in the next episode. This seems to be, the mystery seem to be taking it up a notch and I kind of like this. Okay, um, hopefully things get a little bit better in the next episode or at least we'll get to learn uh, some more answers to our questions and I'll see you all then everybody. Have a great day. Thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye.